Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Happy Halloween. It is Halloween, and you guys are probably loving this day if you are a kid anyway, because you're gonna get all the candy. Yeah. And we have a super fun trip tomorrow. She can tomorrow. lift me up. You can lift her up. What? Wow, strong. Wait, if you are strong feet, enough, if you are strong enough to lift your sister up, then you are strong enough to canter on a horse. Wait, no, because that's arm strength. If she can lift me up with her feet. Oh my gosh, you have to argue with everything I say. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Girls were sleeping in, and I was making their pumpkin seeds, so they're all ready today. Do you guys love pumpkin seeds? Comment below if you love pumpkin seeds or if you don't love pumpkin seeds. Well, if you've never had them before. Or if you've never had pumpkin seeds before. Anyway, I threw them in the oven, and I said to the girls, I'm going to put butter on these. Did anyone answer the question that me and Dad asked? Uh, it didn't go up yet. That's in your video tomorrow. Oh. In this video. So, um, basically, I said, I'm going to put butter on the pumpkin seeds because that's how I cook them. Dad does not put butter on them. The girls lost their mind. They're like, no, don't put butter on my pumpkin seeds. Sophia almost had tears. It was like a big production. So, I, I'd already put butter on one of the pans, and I'm like, okay. So we decided that we're going to watch and see which one we like better. I'm going to show you. Okay, so these are the pumpkin seeds with butter. These are the pumpkin seeds without butter. So after they started cooking for a while, I opened the oven and I said to the girls, which one do you like better? And they're like, oh, did you put butter on mine? Because I really wanted butter on mine. Can you put butter on mine? Can you make sure that I have butter on mine? I'm like, oh. Moms always know, you guys. I didn't know if I had it before. Yeah, so I used to always cook the pumpkin seeds, but the last couple of times, Sam has cooked the pumpkin seeds, and we have totally different ta styles, but I know what tastes good. So, lesson learned. Always trust your mom. We're not sure, I'm with you. We're oh. not sure. Oh, listen, I cooked them. They're half mine. No, no then you I caught, I got them. I got them out of my pumpkin. I the pumpkin home mostly no. mostly I did mostly I did <laughs> okay. no, mostly the people who helped us part of Sophie's uh, work this week has been reading Aesop's Fables. Do you guys know Aesop's Fables? Anyway, she had to read this story about a farmer, this boy, who went looking for snails. And after he found all the snails, he made a fire and he was about to roast them. And as the snails got hotter and hotter, they kept on shriveling inside their, sh inside their shell. And they were making hissing noises as they went into their shell. And the boy heard it and he said, you abandoned creatures, how can you find heart to whistle when your houses are burning. And Sophie, Sophie had to tell me what it meant and I was trying to explain to her because she was like, I do not know what that means. So I was trying to explain to her that even if your house is burning down, and she said, You still eat snails? No, if your house is burning down, you don't eat snails. <laughs> if your house is burning down, you just be grateful that you didn't die. You just be happy yeah. that you're still alive. You always find the silver lining. You're still alive. But your house is still burning down and you're inside your house. What if I had no food and I had to eat bugs? Then you would be so grateful that you had bugs to eat. But what if, uh, but what if we had no clothes? Be grateful that your clothes won't catch on anything or that your clothes won't get dirty. But then how would we be able to go horseback riding? Find wild horses, train them. <laughs> Maybe she's a little young for this lesson. Maybe you're a little bit young for this lesson. All it means is that be grateful for what you have, not be sad okay, for yeah. what you don't have. But I'm sad that we don't have horses. Yeah, I'm sad that we don't have horses either. <laughs> in the attic. Ruby, come here. Ruby. And Ruby's up here too. Why would we bring our dog up in the attic, you ask? We don't. She just comes. She's like so worried we're gonna leave. 
when we get our shoes on, she literally can go to the door, push the door open with her nose, and she goes outside and sits by the car because she wants to go with us so badly. So when we try to sneak away to come upstairs, she came too. Okay, so the thing is, is that we have not got ready for Halloween yet. Can you even believe that? We're such procrastinators. Yeah, yeah. Sophia, we need to get ready for Halloween. Um, but we need to sell these too. Yeah, I want to give them to Fiona. We have some boots. You guys didn't see our Halloween video. We already did Halloween this year. We did it in the summer in September actually at our trailer where we go for the summer. They had a Halloween day so we already went trick-or-treating and we and put everything we lost away our and we lost our costume. All I need is black pants and a cape. So yeah. all I'm looking for is my cape. Alright, let's get to it. There's Sophie getting Jasmine already. Get the saddle on. Cool. Has anyone ever had these gel things? They feel so cool. Yeah, they feel like you want to throw it against the wall. No, they feel like you just want to sit at school with them and squish them. Yeah, like squishies. It's a gel pad. I think it's upside down, but that's the way we were told to put it on. Mm. And they're all tacked up. I didn't like the non-elastic What? Mm. Oh, move. Jasmine. You're a pretty horse, Jasmine. You're a pretty horse. This is like another little flap. Cool. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait. Grab the girth. Oh, he whipped me with my t his tail, her tail. <laughs> Come that's, on. That's why you do the other side first. That's the non. Elastic side. I know, but that's why. It's easier to stretch the elastic the other way. You guys keep doing it that way though, because somebody said do it that way, but it's easier this way. Want me to do it? You got it. You got it. You just gotta get up one at least. There you go. There you go. You got it. Good job. Oh, guys, um, we skipped the middle one. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Me either. Well, we asked that question. Ask that question. See if a subscriber knows. Why do we skip the middle? Why do we have three girth straps? Does anybody know? Right? Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they invite my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of luck Send a little love and I'll make it back Send me a letter and a bottle of Funny for her. Simon says, sitting trot. Simon says, put one hand on your head. Change hands. Simon says, change. 
change hands. Rising trot. Two point. Simon says rising trot. Simon says two hands on your reins. Two point. Simon says two point. Sitting trot. Can't even get her. I can't even trick her. Simon says rising. Put a hand across your back. No. Make me roll right home. Baby, I'm stuck. Are you awesome? Sophie's gonna canter next week. Isn't that awesome? Got my poppy on. Remembrance day is coming up. Oh look at Jasmine. She's waiting for something. You waiting for something, Jasmine? Are you waiting for something? She smells it. She smells that carrot. Good girl. Like that. You care it's like that with your head tilted? That's so funny. <laughs> so funny. I have to say goodbye. Bye Jasmine. See you next week. Alright guys, it's Halloween and we're going to show you our scary pumpkins. If you're on Instagram and Facebook, you've already seen these photos, but here it is live on the blog. Ooh, it's dark. Here is Gabby's SSO pumpkin. And there's the star right there. The star, the horse hey, come over here. And she has. I just carved it. it. Her SSO name, Haley Eagle Daughter. Wait, daughter. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Not Dad, I'm your daughter. Oh, really? It's yeah. like spelled like that? Okay, I thought you just spelled I'll log on and show you. Well, you don't need to show me. Anyways, that's Gabby's SSO pumpkin. Oh, and right here glows too. Sophie's, yeah, Sophie's. That's a horse. Another mama horse. horse. The baby horse. And this was gonna be the logo, but that was the logo, but it, what you messed up. Yeah, but I made it a high heel. Yeah, that looks alright. And there is Sophie's pumpkin. Oh, guys, um, a mother facing a baby horse. I back. put some little windows. <laughs> oh, windows in the back. And as you can see, I put some little carving. And the carving. All right, cool. There you have it. S S O. <laughs> You guys, we are at our very first Halloween stop.
guys, we are trick or treating. The first place that we went is a little thing the city puts on that we like to go to. The kids get candy and can play some games while it's still light out. And then when it's dark, we go trick or treating. We've all been freaking out because all this heavy, warm gear has been driving us insane. It's so uncomfortable. Canada is such an uncomfortable place to live. <laughs> Let's go. I'm already cold, you guys. Freezing! Full moon. Almost full. Treating. At least Sophie and I are back, right? We are sorting out candy. Do you guys still do that? We dump all the candy on the floor and we look through it. And we did not you get You didn't take from this pile. So this is our loot. This is the pile she's giving away and there seems to be a theme. This stuff that I do not like. Arrow. These are my favorite. I will take these before dad only comes Only one. Home. Why only one? I want to give one to dad. Okay. If you love them. Alright, so this is all of her loot. There's Gabby's bag over there. She left it. Gabby left her bag unsupervised. That is not like her. And her and Sam have gone out and gone around a different part of our neighborhood. Alright you guys, we are going to end today's video. It's 8pm and you guys all know that in exactly 12 hours we are going to be on the road. What? In 12 hours we're going to be on the road. Yay. Yay. Okay, so comment of the day on Halloween goes to Mary. No, it should be a Halloween comment of the day. It should be a Halloween comment, but instead I'm going to do an amazing comment. And she says, hello all. My name is Mary and I'm from England, UK. I started to watch your vlogs a few weeks ago now and I find them an inspiration. I own a 16.3 warm blood cross and he is my absolute world. He's called Touch and I have my own business as a riding instructor but had to retire due to ill health. Your day-to-day -day videos keep me going and I have everything crossed for you and your family that you find the perfect horse. I've owned horses for 25 years and your passion is incredible. Even in a hospital bed when I'm admitted, I watch your videos. My very first pony years ago was a cob cross with a thoroughbred. I promise you will find the right one and please keep your videos going because your passion keeps us going. Take care, Mary. Isn't that the nicest comment? Cool. That's so nice. Guys, Thank I didn't you. really hear because I was watching TV. She was just so involved with her candy, you guys. She could not pay attention no, to comment of the day. TV. Anyway, that was so kind of you. We've been getting a lot of really kind of comments lately and they make me feel so good, you guys, because sometimes I um, worry about how we come across and sometimes I feel like people don't maybe get our sense of humor or some people have a hard time understanding who we are because we're not coming across the right way. So when you guys send us nice comments like that, it really makes it <coughs> worth it for us. It makes me even more motivated to work harder and put out better videos. How do you feel when people send comments like that? Mm. She's like, just get me a horse. I don't care about the comments. Just give and me a horse. And let me be because I'm going to eat my candy now. Oh, <laughs> she just wants to go. Let her be and go eat your candy. Okay, go eat your candy. Say, good, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, you guys. Happy Bye. Halloween again. I hope you all join us tomorrow in our journey um, to our very first horse. I keep calling this journey a journey to our very first horse and maybe tomorrow is oh, going to be the be road dead. to our new horse. See you guys later. Guys, I will not tell you the exciting thing on Monday. Bye. <laughs> She's not going to tell you something really exciting is happening on Monday. Right? Right. And I bet you guys can't guess. <laughs> Good night, guys. Guess, though. But try and guess in the comments below. She's not going to tell you, but try and guess. Good night. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.